blessed to be here in Barcelona. I came here to fight the ABJJF event, Masters Europe 2024. But before I talk about the tournament, um, let me talk about my cancer diagnosis, the surgery that I had, and the recovery. I know there's some people very curious um, to know how I am right now because I just stopped making videos. Today is the 17th of May 2024. My surgery was on 7th of February 2024. It's only a few months ago and I stopped posting the videos. Straight after the surgery, I decided that I had to recover for me to put another video. I'm very extremely happy to, to say that I am now cured from cancer. My PSA was undetectable. I had my test on the 25th of March. I got my results from the urologist, from Dr. Andrew Weatherburn, the consulted surgeon that performed the surgery on me. The results of my PSA came undetectable. Uh, the NHS doesn't say that I am cured yet, but they feel very confident that I am cured. I am extremely fit. Um, I've been working out really hard the last few months, preparing for this tournament. And I didn't want to put another video out and boring everybody bore everyone with um, slow progress so I am fit now um, now I went up to 83 kilos and I wasn't very well at all you know um, when I traveled here I arrived here 79 kilos um, I can now see that I've got muscle on my incisions have all healed and I'm ready to fight. I'm fighting fit again. To anyone out there that have been following my videos and been worried about their own surgery and any side effects the surgery will bring, don't fear. Um, I had incontinence for a few weeks and I was um, feeling some symptoms of erectile dysfunction but my symptoms all gone and I am almost back to normal I wouldn't say that I'm 100% normal but I am almost there so happy times now let's talk about the tournament In my division that is 16 men I needed to win four fights to become European champion uh, on my side of the bracket, there is two guys that I fought recently and I lost to them. And I really begged the universe to give me another chance, another opportunity to fight them. And that was payback time. i see you guys tomorrow. Something they feel like I'm going crazy I 
calling my opponent and my opponent doesn't show up so looks like they are putting another fight before mine and uh, I hope my opponent shows up and I get a um, fight if he doesn't show up then I go I believe I get a, a, a buy on the first fight so they kept calling my opponent Alexander Paul and right now they just grab the microphone saying this is the last call they are just going to disqualify him for no show uh, my fight is now scheduled for 10 44 a.m but i think it will change because as soon as they disqualify him i move on to my next fight second fight Ooh, first fight for me because i never had the, the first one just watched uh my opponent's fights and Samir got choked out and the guy that I'm gonna fight is called the Carl Casey from the UK. Um, I see that he pulled guard so I expect he's gonna do that against me and my opponent didn't show up so this is gonna be my, my first fight against this guy called the Carl Casey. Uh, <coughs> hey Carl, best of luck. Yeah, you too. How are you feeling now? You weren't well. Feeling good, man. Look, I had surgery, you know, removed the cancer. So, scary but, times. Mom, it's getting old, things like that happen. Yeah. You know, uh, they call early, Thank you know. But I went through a bad patch. Yeah. Yes. I'm so happy to be here. You can't imagine how happy I am. To be able to go back on the yeah. mats. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I booked this day before my surgery. And I. You know, I knew that I had to look look forward oh, to something yeah. yes. to get me out of that. Yeah. You yeah. See? Yeah. I don't know if you watch any of the videos I posted. I see some of them, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. You were like kind of like at the start you were here, then you, you could see you were going good. Yeah. And yeah. then recently you've been kinda of climbing up a little bit. Yes. So yeah. It's good. It's good to see. It's good to see. How's the club going? He's busy, yes. Yeah. Very busy, yeah. Lots of children, lots of adults, yeah. you know. Um, I enjoy doing it a lot. So to me it's more like lifestyle than yeah. anything else. Yeah. I mean. The fact you get paid, it's just nice. Yeah. Yes. I love doing this. So for me to be here is like a... Blessing. It's um, It felt like heaven walking yeah. through the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, like... So I'm heading to Mat 3 now to fight Carl Casey. Just come on a 
my first fight for one advantage for the half a guard and now I'm watching uh, Robert fighting Morton whoever comes out will be my opponent I needed a fight where I could warm up to get it out of my system I took very low risk what I wanted to do is just get ready for the next fight so, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> All I can think of is uh, when I sent a message to my opponent when I was still in a hospital bed on the 7th of February. When I um, sent a message to them saying, you're not getting rid of me just yet. And here I am.
back to the universe for a fight with Robert. The universe gave me the fight, and unfortunately, I lost. He beat me 5 0. I decided to pull, to pull half a guard against him, and uh, there was a scramble. I need to watch the video well to see how it happened, but he ended up past my guard. So he passed my guard horse, and I managed to escape from that. Uh, somehow he scored another two points. I don't know how. I need to watch the video. And uh, the only thing really that I did is with uh, any significance in a fight, I tried the Kimura and I tried the Namba. I did speak to Robert at the end. He said um, that I almost got him from that. I need to watch the video to, to be able to confirm, but well, I lost. So I've got a third place medal. Uh, not ideal. Um, maybe I go into the open weight. See how I get on the open weight. I'm not really disappointed because after everything that I went through, just for me to be here, it's um, it's amazing. And um, I'm really happy, even though I lost. Um, I'm doing the things I love. I'm back into competition, and from here we only get better.
just won my first fight on a open weight division. I fought a guy, an ultra heavy guy called Matteo Pagani from Italy. And I scored one guy past one mount, seven points, and I choked him with a cross collar choke. So I don't know who I'm facing next. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be looking into the schedule to see who, who I'm up against next.
I just won my second fight against um, a guy called Lucas Carroll, lightweight. Uh, and now I'm in the final with Claudio. Claudio is, um, is a guy that I, um, I beat him at the final of the European 2023 in Paris. So we're gonna fight again. I lost to Cloud uh, Footlock. My knee was bad, um, and as soon as he grabbed hold of my foot, I tapped. I would not let him squeeze my foot, so I would have some problems, you know. Um, for me, it's, it's okay. Um, I, I think I've done enough today, and I wouldn't risk to get um, to get an injury. So. There is no sad stories, it's all happiness. Going to the podium now to get my second place medal. Let it go. 